Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're going to take a look at the Zcam S6, all its different resolutions, and how do they crop. Almost. So for the very, very impatient ones, please just take a screenshot of this chart. Now, for those of you who are a bit less impatient, but still impatient, let me show you the different crops compared to the open gate. So this is open gate, Cinema 6K, 6K, 6K 2.4 to 1, 5K 4 to 3, 5K 6 to 5, Cinema 5K, 5K, Cinema 4K 3 to 2, Cinema 4K low noise, 4K low noise, Cinema 4K, 4K, Cinema 4K 2.4 to 1, Super 16 69, 2.8K, and finally 1920 by 1080. And now the same thing, but I'm going to put all these resolutions occupying the whole width of this frame, which is a 16 by 9 frame. And here we have open gate, cinema 6K, 6K, 6K 2.4 to 1, 5K 4 to 3, 5K 6 to 5, cinema 5K, 5K, cinema 4K 3 to 2, cinema 4K low noise, 4K low noise, cinema 4K, 4K, cinema 4K 2.4 to 1, super 16, and 16 by 9, 2.8K, and finally full HD, 1920 by 1080. And before we get started for some more details, a couple of disclaimers. First, yes, this S6 is mine. Yes, I'm a hobbyist, but I kind of know what I'm doing some days. Then, if you're looking for exploring the image quality and the cinematic features of this camera, uh, this video is not exactly for you, but it is a sample of what it can do. Right now, I'm shooting at 4K. 25p, 180 degree rule, ISO at 400, ProRes 422, Zlog 2. And the reason to make this video is because there are 17 different resolutions to choose in the Zcam S6, all of them available in H.264, H.265 and ProRes, some of them available in Zero. And all of these different resolutions have different crops. And the crops are not exactly proportional to the open gate, so some of them are super sampled. So I just wanted to go through them all, see exactly how much do they crop, and then let you guys know. And it will also help me to decide which are the resolutions that I will use the most. So the summary is that we have a 6244 times 4168 resolution, which I believe that that's the open gate, and that's the maximum resolution we get using the full sensor, both in width and head. So this will be my one crop. Everything else will be referred compared to the open gate, which is the full sensor. Then we have three flavors of 6K, and both of Cinema 6K and Cinema 6K 2.421 are using almost the full width of the sensor, minus 100 pixels. 6K cops a little bit more, but not too much. In 5K, we get two different aspect ratios, which are 4.3 and 6.5, and those two, which I believe will be useful for anamorphic shooters, to use the full width of the sensor. On the other hand, normal 5K, meaning 16.9 aspect ratio, and Cinema 5K, those crop quite a bit more than did the same type of uh, aspect ratios in 6K. And still, even a bit more than 4K. So in 4K and Cinema 4K, we actually get exactly the same crops than 6K and Cinema 6K, which means that 4K in this camera is actually super sampled from the full sensor. The low noise flavors of Cinema 4K and 4K do actually crop a little bit more than the normal modes. Then we have Super 16, which has a 16.9 aspect ratio, and of course that's actually a massive crop because it crops to the size of a Super T16 sensor, which I think it could be really fun to try some Super 16 lenses on this camera if I ever get my hands onto them. Then we get a very interesting resolution, in my opinion, which is 2.8K, and that uses the same amount of sensor than Cinema 6K and Cinema 4K. And that, I think, is going to be a very interesting resolution for people that need a decent resolution, but not 4K or 6K, and yet using the, almost the full size of the sensor, so you're going to get a lot less data rate, so a lot more space in your cards to film stuff. And then, finally, 1080p, it does have the same crop than 6K and 4K. Then, um, how did I come up with all those numbers and how did I calculate this? So let me explain it. Um, usually the crop factor is calculated by the, um, the 
ratio between diagonals, but here we have so many different aspect ratios that that would not give the information. So basically what I'm doing is calculating the crop factor, comparing the horizontal coverage of the sensor. And as I said before, open gate is my one and everything else will be on respect to open gate. If you want to know then the um, crop factor comparing to a full frame sensor, then just multiply all of these crop factors by whatever you're comparing to. Uh, because comparing actually to the F6 is a little bit different than comparing to a traditional 36 millimeter full frame sensor because the F6 has a little bit bigger sensor than that one. But anyway, it's just another multiplication. I might put a table in the end. So what I did was basically take a shot of my beautiful guitar and then the rest of this stuff here with all the 17 different resolutions. I did put all of the shots in a um, timeline in Resolve that has the resolution of open gate. And then what I did was basically grab steels from each one of them. I brought them into GIMP as layers, and then I scaled those layers so that the images would overlap perfectly. And that was giving me the crop factor. And I know it sounds like a lot of guesswork and it is a bit, but not so much because the scale that I had to use was mostly either the actual resolution of that particular crop or some other resolution that we have used before. And as I said before, the same scaling or crop applies to Cinema 6K, Cinema 4K, 2.8K, and so on and so forth. And here is what I got if I overlay all the different crops, all the 17 ones on top of the open gate. This looks a bit messy, so let me show you the 6K flavors, how much they crop on the, comparing to the open gate full sensor. Then we have the 5K with the non 43 or 65 aspiration crop a little bit more than cinema for uh, the 6k flavors as we said before then we have the 4k flavors and as you can see those cover as much sensor as the 6k flavors then the smaller resolutions combined into one obviously super 16 um, crops a lot more and 2.8k is a very interesting resolution and crop in my opinion then if you want to see the numbers what you can see in the left column that is at it appears in the menu then we have the actual resolution. Then we have the scale factor compared to the number one, which is open gate for me. And what I put next to it is the comparison of the crop factor with normal full frame, meaning a 36 by 24 sensor. One detail is that all of these crop factors are applicable if you're shooting at 25p. I think that probably uh, up to 30p, it will behave the same but I believe that some of the resolutions crop a little bit more if you're shooting at higher frame rates. If you're really, really interested on me doing this exercise with the higher frame rates, please let me know. But the reason that I haven't done it is that I shoot almost exclusively if more than 99% of what I do in 25p. So that's what I wanted to know and therefore my exercise. And I wanted to find out this by myself to help me choose among those different 17 resolutions depending on today and depending on the needs of what I'm doing. And then I thought that why not to share uh, what I learned and how I did it. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And this is my first S6 video, but it will definitely not be the last one. So if you have any questions about it that a hobbyist could answer, please let me know in the comments. But we'll see you soon for some more content.